Okay guys, so we are here for Relationships Season 1 Episode 4 We are going to talk about love, liking and trust Now, a lot of people don't understand the meaning of these terms uh, These terms, a lot of people don't understand what they stand for they, Many people confuse them to be the same thing But no, they are not absolutely not the same thing And confusing them will exactly lead you back to the worst kind of relationships you'll ever have So, they are going to discover how this works Okay, first love is of two types Right, it, it is unconditional and conditional. Okay, so these two are different kinds of love and they could be there at the same time. Okay, so what is unconditional love? Unconditional love is the kind of love that gives you joy no matter what you are, what, what the person does. Okay, like in the sense of uh, they could leave you, they could betray you, they could stab you with an eye, but you still love them. It doesn't matter. Why is that? Because it gives you joy, it's not related to what the person is doing. Conditional love, on the other hand, is related to what the person is doing. All romantic love is conditional. Okay, That does not mean that for the same person you don't have unconditional love. These are two different things. You could have unconditional love for that same person and you could have conditional love within the romance for that same person. Now, when the person leaves you, conditional love is over because what was conditional love for? Be with me, uh, uh, eat with me, have fun with me. You know, have sex with me, etc, etc. You're doing a whole bunch of things with the person. And uh, the moment they stop doing that, conditional love reduces. Okay, there's a percentage to conditional love. But for unconditional love, even if they leave you and go, okay, even if they cheat you, you still have unconditional love for them. Okay, that means you are still in love with them in a way, but not conditionally. That's all. So unconditional love and conditional love are two different things you can have both for the same person you can have one for the same or fun for a single person and not have both it does not matter okay so this keeps you pleasant this can get, get give you a lot of unpleasant emotions how do you avoid those unpleasant emotions by realizing that this is just conditional that this is all it don't mix it up with uh, unconditional love the moment you mix it up with unconditional love I loved her so much yet she betrayed me that is where you are going to start facing heartbreak that is where you are going to start facing betrayal okay and, and your emotions are not going to be in your control now liking okay what exactly is liking liking is your ability to live with the person okay to live Okay, that means I like this person. How do I like this person? I could like them in a romantic manner also. Ki I want more time with them. I want to spend more time with them. I want to enjoy. See, I want to see and explore a relationship. I want to explore conditional or unconditional love. So you could like them. Okay, or you like somebody just normally, uh, uh, completely platonically. And you just are able to live with them. You're able to spend more time with them. Okay, and even liking has its own percentage. Like I could like... I like someone 30% of the time, I could spend about 30% of the time. Most people I don't even like 1% of the time because I can't spend 1% of my time with them. So that is basically what liking is. Now trust. Trust is entirely scientific. Okay. Why is trust scientific? Because it is entirely based on the past. Right? When you are talking about trusting someone, how do you trust them? You only try and trust them on the past. When you trust a carpenter, you go on his uh, ratings, you go on his recommendations, you see how the work he does, you're constantly observing the work he does, you're supervising it. That is how you trust someone. Okay. So similarly, when you trust someone, can I trust them with my money? Okay, maybe. Can I trust them with uh, doing something specific for me? Are they good at this? That Therefore, I can trust them 100% or do they love me? And they're not good at it. And therefore, they are still willing to do it for me. They're still willing to learn it completely. So there are various levels of trust. So you have to decide whether you trust this person in this manner specifically. Blanket trust does not exist. And it is definitely a recipe for disaster. The moment you blanket trust somebody, oh, he can make my cupboard, he can make my house, he can have sex with me, he can love me, he can do this, he won't cheat on me. That is absolutely nonsense. You will end up in disaster. You will be betrayed. Trusting someone, especially when they have not told you that you can trust them, is going to make you unhappy. So are we very clear, right? This is scientific, okay? This is slightly less scientific. This is more on feeling, okay? This is uh, complete. This is more like 80 to 90 percent of feeling, and this is pure feeling. Like there is no science here. The moment there is a science here, it is not unconditional love. Let's be very clear about that. Okay, so extremely scientific, 
zero science and that's how we go right how do we look at it there is no percentage here there is no calculation here on this case there is a slight calculation like is this person how much is this person giving me how much am, am i giving the person and how much uh, how are we vibing this is a more of a calculation like uh, can i be with this person can i hang out can i do this can i have coffee or can i just uh, am i are we really good at having sex or whatever or are we good at building cupboards together or are we good at doing things together and this is completely can i trust this person for this specific thing that you have to judge on a what you feel somewhat what you feel but mostly 99.99% it is scientific okay so this is how you go through love liking and trust three extremely important things often confused often thought to be uh, each other uh, often thought to be one thing okay you cannot love like and trust a person 100% if you do you are defrauding yourself or you are defrauding the person okay so just be aware of this realize where you are in and and use these things to make your relationships better